All right, so far so good. Super Mario Maker what? <laughs> this is Super Mario All-Stars by Master June P4 Plus 2, mostly P4 Plus 2, really, to be honest with you. He did the ma vast majority of it. Is this going to start the right game? Yes. So we're starting Super Mario World inside of Super Mario All-Stars plus SMB3. I'm sorry, SMW cart. And this particular cart was used because of one very specific aspect. We needed an enormous amount of memory for what you're about to see. And as a result, the cartridge we ended up using was this combination cart that had enough space to store three save slots for Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, 3, Lost Levels, and Super Mario World. So I think it has 32k of, of storage, of, of, uh, of SRAM, I think, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. It's a fairly decent amount, and that amount is needed for the payload that we have to write into memory. We've got to write that somewhere. So what you're seeing here is a, a reasonably standard run, but then it diverges because there's memory in different locations in this cartridge. So the setup has to be very different, and it took Master June a while to figure it out. If I remember right, he was the one that did this part. So now you've got a Yoshi glitch. You can see the controller going absolutely crazy in the lower left corner of the screen. And you got Mario starting again-ish-esque. But it says Super Mario Maker All-Stars in the top of the screen. And what's happening here is Panga is now involved. And in fact, what P4 Plus 2 did, which is absolutely brilliant, is he made a an actual Mario Maker inside of the real honest-to-goodness game, inside of the real hardware, for that matter. It's, it's unclear exactly what development tools Nintendo created to make level maps for Super Mario World. I'm fairly certain they didn't have Lunar Magic. <clears throat> they definitely didn't have this. <laughs> Whatever tools they had were probably not running on the actual console. So they probably had to go through a laborious process where they would make a level and then test it and... It's probably a little bit of a pain to do. Well, it's not exactly fun to do it this way, but it's not impossible either. We did something kind of interesting. I think this is in some ways a better interface than the actual Super Mario Maker, uh, or Super Mario uh, Maker tool set, I guess is the right way to put it. There you can only place one type of object at once, but here you can select, select up to four different kinds of objects and assign them to different buttons. So the A button will do one thing, X, Y, B, they'll do different things. So he's got these different item types that he's added in, and as he goes across the level, whatever button he presses enters that type of block. Now up here, by the way, right now he's erasing something. He made that uh, all those blocks at the top and then realized they occlude what thing is selected. So right now you can see he's got the... He just switched to vines, and he's doing the corner pieces and the edges. Now he's adding in some enemies. So, so when you see he pauses here and he, he's switching out what sprites are being used, then so there's one sprite slot, which is pretty cool. So he's selecting that sprite slot and, and changing what items are in there. <clears throat> now he's adding in the flames, all kinds of interesting flames. So Panga, <clears throat> who's well known for making Mario Maker run uh, levels, and for that matter, Super Mario World levels, uh, used this tool to create a map that was, an, um, at the time, a well-known, uh, a well-known ROM, or a well-known, I should say ROM, a well-known level. Yata? Which I thought was pretty funny. And then over here, he's going to write the equivalent of graffiti. It's basically the equivalent of gaming digital graffiti. Panga was here. Because why not? And a little heart. Right there. Just because. Everyone needs a heart. Adds in one last little bit of, of flair and it says, let's play. And they've got Mario right here. Now, I'm going to unplug TaskBot and I am going to make a complete fool of myself on YouTube. So I am now Mario and I am playing the level that was just created. And it is not an easy level, by the way. Oops. Uh, oops. <laughs> okay. I died, so it warped me back there.
There we go. So I despawned it due to a glitch. Um, let's see. Uh, can I... Ha! Oh, interesting. I wonder why those turned. So you'll notice that the music isn't playing. Oh, bummer. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> so now I gotta wait for these to, <laughs> to change. Uh, one of the things that was unfortunate about how this happened was it, it sort of broke a few things. Like the logic for for that. Okay, now I gotta do that again. Whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, wow. This is surprisingly difficult, by the way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, oh, okay, all right. <clears throat> Yeah. So that is the actual end. So it says yata. Now, my belief is that if I go back over here, this will crash. I believe this will cause the game to go completely nutty. Oh, that's right. After the fact, we, uh, we patched it so that um, you could get back to the beginning, but then you could never start the game again. <laughs> that's right. It used to just blow up. So this was shown at, uh, at AGDQ 2016. We had a lot of difficulties with the controller at the time. There, was, there were all kinds of things that didn't quite go right. Anyway, it, this was a much cleaner showing. I'm glad that I got it on video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to stop the recording now. For, if, for those of you watching on YouTube later, uh, I do not believe that this run is on TAS videos itself because of the weirdness of it, but maybe I think it got, maybe it got submitted and then not accepted or something. But if we can get this on test videos, we'll mark this as a console verification of it and also link the other one. I'm going to do a redraw really quick before I sign off because this is an awesome redraw. Let's look in the left-hand side of the screen. Of course, somebody drew loss at the beginning. This is all being done on my Twitch stream. And for those watching my Twitch stream live, I do not know who drew that many of me, but that was terrifying. <laughs> Bepis. <laughs> And there's loss again. Of course there's loss again. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.